Ryan, junior sod cutter. The first name in turf renovation and sod cutting. It is the machine for sod cutters. Full commercial piece, we've got a front end that's got a bumper guard on it, rubber isolated mounted. So again, it less vibration on the machine. Honda engine option as well as a Briggs engine option. Both units come with either a 12 inch or an 18 inch cut. Very easy to use and adjust. So the Junior Sod Cutter comes in a 12 inch or an 18 inch cut. And you can see the 18 inch blade is mounted here with an 18 inch drum. The 12 inch blade would mount here and with a smaller drum, you'd be able to get the smaller cut. The drive engagement lever, marked with a wheel, is engaging by pushing it forward and up. And then the blade engagement lever on the back side, same mechanism, just push it up. And now when the unit's engaged, the blade's gonna cut as well as move forward. Depth setting is very easy on this machine. All you're doing is loosening this mechanism up, changing it to the desired depth, locking it in place, taking the blade lock lever, tip the machine forward where it gets set to that desired depth, and then tightening the whole tower for your blade depth. Now your blade's engaged. Unique to our unit is a pitch angle for the blade. That's the second lever. And when you loosen that up, you notice that this whole tower can adjust forward and back. Very simple adjustment and very small adjustment increments. What that does is allows the blade in rough conditions to pitch a little bit more and be aggressive on the ground. All the way in the forward position is the most aggressive angle that you can get. Optimal cutting is all the way in the back or the flat position. The junior sod cutter, we have some advancements on this unit that uh, really make this unit unique. And one of the things that we needed to do was lower the vibration of the unit. And how we did that was change the handle design and where the handle is mounted. Right now we've got rubber isolation mounts here and here. And the position of the handle is in the forward frame position where the least vibration of the machine is. I'm going to start this unit to show you that vibration control. I'm engaging the blade. That unit's in full running motion, my hand is barely moving. Another unique feature of our Ryan Jr. sod cutter is our rear caster wheel. Right now the mechanism is locked in the forward or straight position, but to make this caster wheel engage, as you're driving, you can step up, release the caster wheel, and then make turns very easily with the machine. And then you can lock it back down in the straight or forward position. For the Ryan Jr. Sod Cutter, we have a couple of attachments also. Either 12 inch or 18 inch side with a V trench blade. And what this blade is good for is to take out retention areas that collect water, um, areas that need to be drained out very easily. You can use this to also bury some dog fence cabling or um, anything you need to put under the ground. Mounts right where the blade would mount on a sod cutter and cuts this nice V trench. The other attachment we have, and again for the 18 or the 12 inch sod cutter, is what we call a mole blade kit. It's kind of a funky little design, but what this unit is for is to pull cabling, piping, and other products underneath the ground. Not good for coax cable, but for everything else, 
It'll just drag the product through the ground without uh, cutting a big, deep trench to do that. So this would go into the ground first, drive the unit into the ground, and as you go forward, this would keep the unit down into the ground. The pipe goes on the back end. The way this works is you put the cable or piping material in this and as it gets pulled, it gets tighter on the product and you can pull this uh, all the way through in straight lines. Mold blade kit, V-trench. Oh.